Welcome to OCR News Weekly. This week, Tough Mudder announces Holy Grail and competitive heats at all events. National Ninja League Championships take place. Ultimate Beastmaster debuts on Netflix. OCR Orphan Trip announced for 2018 and your race results. Today is Thursday, March 9th, 2017. I'm Margaret Schlachter, and this is OCR News Weekly, brought to you by Mud Run Guide. We're coming at you today from the island of Ometepe in Nicaragua. This week's episode is brought to you by Spartan Race. Use code MUDRUNGUIDE15 for 15% off your next Spartan Race registration. Tough Mudder announced this week their newest offering Tougher Mudder heats for all their events in 2017. Tougher Mudder is a competitive heat at the beginning of the day at all Tough Mudder events starting in March in New Orleans. Tougher Mudder will have athletes taking on all the Tough Mudder obstacles plus a few additional challenges. Highlights of the announcement include the fact that Tougher Mudder is a mandatory obstacle completion, meaning that athletes must finish all obstacles in order to receive a tougher mutter headband at the end. At the beginning of the race, athletes will receive wristbands. If they cannot complete an obstacle, they will hand over their wristband and will not receive the tougher mutter headband at the end of the race, but instead the normal tough mutter headband. The top finishers are eligible for prize money at the end of each tough, tougher mutter event. Additionally, Tough Mudder announced its Holy Grail. For athletes who complete successfully a Tougher Mudder, Toughest Mudder, and World's Toughest Mudder in 2017, they will receive a special grail for their efforts, a unique t-shirt, patch, and digital badge. For more information about all the different Tough Mudder distances and events and a breakdown of each one, check out Mud Run Guide for more information and the full announcement in our show notes. Our second story this week comes from the National Ninja League Championships. National Ninja League finals took place over the weekend in Northern California. Top ninja athletes from around North America converged at Apex Movement. American Ninja Warrior Nation was on hand to cover the whole event, live streaming much of it. To watch the runs for yourself, head to AmericaNinjaWarriorNation.com. Our third story this week comes from Netflix with the Ultimate Beastmaster. The new Netflix series Ultimate Beastmaster debuted over the past weekend. Many familiar faces from the obstacle racing community made it onto the new competition reality series. The series pits international athletes against each other on a short obstacle heavy course. For fans of American Ninja Warrior, Entertainment Weekly wrote a comparison of the two shows earlier this week. From Entertainment Weekly, quote, Netflix rolled out its first reality show last week with Ultimate Beastmaster, a hardcore obstacle course competition series clearly inspired by NBC's summer hit American Ninja Warrior, which is a spinoff of Japanese Sasuke. In in a way, Beastmaster is a metaphor for how Netflix has evolved television. The streaming company has taken something traditional channels have done well, then tried to upgrade it into something that's bigger and better and even more addictive. Have they succeeded? Both shows are fun diversions featuring athletic prowess, inspiring you to get to the gym. To read the full article, head to our show notes where we link the Entertainment Weekly article. According to Bustle and The Hollywood Reporter, season two of Ultimate Beastmaster has already been shot, but a release date has yet to be announced. The last story this week comes from On My Way to Sparta. On My Way to Sparta announced plans are underway for the third annual OCR Orphan Adventure mission trip in Monterey, Mexico. This mission is sponsored by Back to Back Ministries, and the trip combines obstacle racing, camaraderie, and a life-changing experience with severely disadvantaged children and youth. Jeff Kane of On My Way to Sparta and Jason Thornston will be coordinating the trip taking place January 13th through 19th, 2018. For more information about the trip and pricing, please visit On My Way to Sparta, Sparta.com or find the link in the show notes for more information regarding how you can get involved with this trip. Next, we move on to results from the past week. 
We highlight a few of the races that took place this past weekend around the globe. Last weekend, Warrior Dash was in Texas. Spartan Race held a winter race in New York. Nuts Challenge took place in the United Kingdom. The top results from Warrior Dash in Texas were rounding out the podium for men, Wooch Graf won the race, Cash Travolke came in second, and Sean Madigan came in third. On the women's side, Alexandra Walker won, Shayna Hardy second, and Wendy Warner third. Moving on to Spartan Race, the top results from Spartan Race at Greek Peak in New York were Brian Gowitsky won the race, second place was Kayla Browns, third place John Yatsko. On the women's side, Tiffany Palmer won, Anne Lehurex came in second, and Krista Dustman came in third. Moving over to the United Kingdom, Nuts Challenge took place over the weekend in Surrey. Two of the races were OCR World, Qu World Championship qualifiers. The 21K race, or three laps on the course, was won by, on the men's side, Arnest Salterns, second place Dean Johnson, third place Edward Wetton. Moving over to the women's side, we had Emily Darthrew coming in first, Charlotte Cronin in second, and Faye Showell in third. In the 28K race, also uh, that would be four laps on the Nuts course, winning the women's race was Lucy Martlew, second place was Ashley Cooper, third place Tony Cuppet. Over on the men's side, winning the race was Christopher Shipley, second place Jesse Betts, and third place Dacius uh, Gonelli. As we look around the globe to see what are the top races happening over the weekend, we have Spartan Race in Houston, The Suffering is in the United Kingdom, Terrain Race heads to Florida, and we'll be reporting live from Survival Run Nicaragua on the island of Ometepe in the middle of Lake Nicaragua. That's this week's episode of OCR News Weekly. OCR News Weekly is a production of Mud Run Guide. I'm Margaret Schlachter. Have a great week.